Once again, it's Kenara Vernon Stewart here for the podcast. Look, Auburn is really making some strides at the transfer portal and getting some guys in to help supplement some depth. We're going to talk about this in some more detail in this video. A lot of folks are like, well, why is Auburn relying so much on the transfer portal? Well, look, you got a brand new head coach who has not had a chance to put his team together and has not had a chance to solidify depth, but there are still expectations to win immediately, be successful immediately. And fortunately for Hugh Freeze, the transfer portal is an option. You got a lot of guys out there that, I mean, they may not have been excellent recruits as high school kids, but when you play, you you know, you last as long as some of these guys have lasted in the power five ranks. I mean, you have to think that that experience will start to supplement what they had coming out of high school. I, there was actually this ridiculous question coming out of the one of the um, Facebook groups that I'm in with Auburn. They were like, well, what did he rank in high school? Who cares? What is he doing now? You know, a lot of the Auburn basketball players weren't like, Great recruits out of high school, but now they're balling. I mean, you look at Jonai Broom, you know, coming out of Florida, goes to Moorhead State first, then comes to Auburn, and now he's an All-SEC All-American and decides to come back. Now, I can speculate as to why he may be coming back, and for good reason, good for Auburn, good for him. But either way, I mean, we can't go on that because we have seen before I mean, you look at John Emery Jr. from LSU, one of the top running backs of that time, and he had 121 yards last year. So we can't always go by that, guys. So um, like I said before, go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe. You got Isaiah uh, Rakes, who played with Texas A&M just last year. He transfers to USC. And decides that, you know, hey, I don't want to go here. I want to, you know, kind of follow um, DJ Durkin, who is now the defensive coordinator at Auburn. And he's very successful, uh, DJ Durkin was, as a defensive coordinator at Texas A&M. And, you know, looking at video foot footage on Isaiah, I like him. You know, can I just go ahead and say that he's going to be this world beater I don't know but I do know he adds a lot of much needed depth and experience to the Auburn defensive line room who loses a lot including Marcus Harris and he's got a lot of size and I like the way he maneuvers up and down the line of scrimmage and can find the football that's what I like and I, I think that's something that Auburn can find valuable in what is going to be a very tough go in 2024 so, I think Auburn did a damn good job in getting it. I mean, they needed it. Big guy, I think he has some opportunities to get, you know, a little bit in uh, different physical shape. But even still, he has that experience, which, which a lot of people discount when they talk about this transfer portal and why it's so important, especially for a brand new head coach. Yeah, I think Auburn has brought some good guys in. I think, you know, recruiting has been great. But you're asking some high school kids who weren't playing the type of offensive linemen on, de on defense that they're going to face in Power 5 SEC conference. You're asking them to do a lot. You're asking them to know tendencies. You're asking them to know how to uh, study film. You're asking them to do a lot of things that I think these two defensive linemen that have come to Auburn from other Power 5 schools can bring. I mean, you look look at uh, Philip Belita, who comes from Indiana, was at Texas Tech, played in the Big 12, played in the Big 10. These guys have the type of experience that you need to supplement that. I, th I think what we, we should call these guys are bridge gappers. They're going to, th these transfer portal situations, I think, especially the way Hugh Freeze has played it, they br they're bridging the gap. You know, they're giving their guys that they've recruited 
You know, a lot of these uh, transfer portal guys have about one year left, maybe two, and they help to supplement the experience in the meantime as they not only develop the guys that they have recruited and they recruit some more guys. So I think this is a great deal. Bad thing for Auburn. Wesley Snyder is leaving. That takes away some depth from the linebacker position, um, which I thought he was OK as a linebacker. He, you know, made some good plays. He definitely wasn't necessarily a every down power five linebacker guy, but I, I still think he had some value and I wish him luck wherever he goes. Then you talk about on the offensive side of the football field, you got Jay Fair, who was a very, I'll say relatively speaking, productive wide receiver. I mean, you know, you got some news articles like that that says this is not going to be a a guy that Auburn misses. I casually agree. And this is not to take away from him, but Auburn has brought in a plethora of wide receivers, whether it has been high school or the transfer portal. So I think Auburn is in, is in pretty good shape, even with this with this departure. So Auburn's looking at a stretch uh, schedule wise that includes Georgia, uh, Texas A&M and, you know, some tough schools. And they're going to need the depth of these defensive, especially in the, in the interior. Because you look at last year, Auburn lost Mosaic Kite, uh, number 33 from last year, as a defensive lineman, and it it told on him. You know, you got to have depth in the interior because those serious injuries, they occur in the trenches. And Auburn definitely has to make sure that they rotate and have the depth in the interior. You definitely don't want to depend on some brand new guys out of high school. You do want them to get there playing time but you know they're still a little fragile and to have these guys that have had some experience and some durability will prove great for these tigers go ahead and like the video glad to be back comment and subscribe to vernon speak sports auburn and as always great to be an auburn tiger 